the star looks nice, but the camera's not picking up the colour. One of the few things I like about autumn is the fallen le the autumn leaves. I like to be able to do this, to walk through them. Hello. Uh, this <laughs> I like to do. off my tree. Oh, we've got some snowberries. I'm not saying the people around here know that. They expect a the front garden to be just flat, bare, concrete or gravel. And if you've got anything growing, you're, on, you're the Wicked Witch of the West. It's like they expect a house to be bare white walls with nothing on them or just the obligatory kids' school photo and a widescreen TV and nothing else. Oh, it's cluttered! That looks nice. Oh, it's about the few things I like of autumn is the leaf colour change. My tree's lost a lot of its leaves, but it still looks reasonably okay out there in its autumn colours. Oh, these biscuits are very nice. They are lovely. These are nice as well. These these have got like chocolate on one side. And um, these have got like chocolate centres. These are the Lice Marks and Spencers. Or was it Marks and Spencers? I can't even remember now. Who's the... It's got little stags on the side, as, as the side of the can as well, a pin as well, and a fox. So... Right, I've got a, a, a small haul to start off with. I've got a, from Tomix, they, they do model trains. I've got a um, convenience, a family mart convenience store. I'll take it out and I'll show you. And some of the Japanese sellers are so nice, they send like little free gifts, there's a little free eraser. And it's a Fuji san, look, Mount Fuji. Let me show you. So cute. It's Fuji San. Isn't that lovely? So uh, I won't use it as such. I should keep that because I like these little things. I can hear the archers just starting in the background. Anyhow, I'll take this out and show you. It's got such attention to detail. There's all the bits. There's the Family Mart sign. See? There's a lot of stickers that you have to cut out and put on to make the supermarket look, oh, to make the store look, obviously to make the store look as though it's busy and full. I took this off, that was um, attached, but I want to put all the stickers on the inside of all the shelves. Well, that reminds me of the empty Toys R Us store that I went into when they were closing, it was so sad. Now this fits into the, well, it just fits in, but it, this one keeps coming out for some reason. I did attach it last night and um, I don't need to do it now, but... But I might as well while I'm here. See, there's tiny little holes that this attaches to. <sighs> Never mind, I'll sort that out later. I'll put that inside for now. And uh, it's for people that have model railways, really, because I don't want it for that. Um, 
I just wanted it because I like the family marts and I wish we had some in this country. I'd love to have a family mart. Convenience store open 24 hours. It'd be so useful. And um, any, anyhow, also I got this book because I would love that to be turned into a movie. I love things like this, like the old 1950s style, Home I'm Darling. It's the, um, it's the, what do they call it when it's, a, you know, from a play. It's, um, I've got one for, uh, ah, from Dusk Till Dawn as well, you know, the Quentin Tarantino movie. But this is, well, not a screenplay. That was a screenplay screenplay uh, what do they call it when it's um the script this is i suppose the script for the uh the play which i never got to see and i've started got through the first chapter so far i like these old 1950s styles i got a nice 1950s apron from a uh vintage shop last year and i love things like this <laughs> So yeah. This one Marks and Spencer is I've got a nice Christmas tree in Waitrose. I'm buying. Which one shall I have? I don't know. Waitrose. I have got a new torchwood. I ordered it from Amazon. Came very, very quickly. Very quickly. And um, yeah, and the book I got at the same time that came even quicker. Very good. The um, home I'm darling. Right, I've, oh, I don't know if I need the light on here today. It might be okay without. Let me have a look. Got this from Waitrose. Heston and, uh, I don't know if we need the light on or not. Oh, we probably do. It looks like it's a little bit washed out. But, um, let me find... I saw that, didn't you, yesterday? So, oh, yeah, we probably are. Let me, um... Russell, Russell, Russell. I don't like this Russell. But a nice angel from Marks and Spencers. I did show her when I was in Starbucks yesterday. Uh, got a nice jumper from M&S as well. Oh yeah, washed out. I'm going to put the light. I'm going to put. Also, I want. I want to show you something that I got, I bought back from my friend's house. Oh, I should have stopped it then. I meant to, I forgot. Um, oh, I didn't forget, I just meant to and then didn't. That's a nice old picture that used to be here with my mother or something like that. Butterfly wings, I, could, I wouldn't agree with that nowadays, but you know, once it's done, and of course it's so beautiful, I'd hope they wouldn't do things like that anymore. Kill the poor butterflies to, um, ooh. There's a, my cobra. My cobra. And of mine gave me that a few years ago. Yeah, I'm going to need 
the light on, I think. And here's my Cayman. I think we've seen my Cayman before. He's lost some of his toes now. So, yeah. And, uh... little goat that's appeared quite often in um, some of the, oh, the Halloween in the garden last year, when there was things, unspeakable things happening with Tarnia, our Tarnia and the little goat. But um, when I say unspeakable things, I'm not talking about here, perhaps I should rephrase that. Moving on. work being done outside so I've got the light on now um does that look like with the actually it looked better without the light I think so anyhow can we see cobra better or is it cobra cobra Somebody doing some sort of work across the road. There's always noise around here. It's so annoying. Right, my Cayman. Anyhow, put him up there. Um, my friend's house. He's been mouldering away down there, this little goat. He's made a real fur, which um, is not very good. It could be a poor cat or something. Probably made in China years ago or somewhere. But um, I'm not going to say unspeakable things about what happened in the video, because, you know, these videos, that they're, if you show something like that, they're going to say, oh, made for kids. And I th when you look at some of these cartoons that's on YouTube that are supposedly made for kids and there are unspeakable things going on. And um, like as someone pointed out, Elsa doing things with Peppa the Pig or whatever. I haven't actually seen it myself. I don't want to see it. But may if YouTube is trying to stop things like that on their platform, I can understand it. That's aimed at kids and really shouldn't be watched by kids because it's totally bad taste. But... um. It's not that, is it? It's just because people object, advocacy organisations have objected to adverts being targeted at kids. And to me, that's, I'd think, well, wouldn't it be better to have adverts targeted to their tastes and interests rather than adverts that are t not suitable for them? Not suitable for kids at all? But I don't know. What do I know? I'm probably told I'm wrong no matter what I say, so... Probably shouldn't say anything. This uh, I haul from Waitrose chocolate mixology collection, and uh, it's a nice picture on the side. But of course, this is blanking it out. I do it with the camera. And there's some nice chockies, and oh, this mango mint flavour lentil chips. I couldn't get the ones. That, I mean, those are all right. The creamy deal, they're okay. But the ones I like are the spinach and something else chips, um, uh, short straws, and they're really nice. Anyway, these are two for two pounds from Waitrose. I've got these from Waitrose. They were four pound at Waitrose. These, these I got from the independent health food store. The, uh, that's, you just eat them, they're ready to go. You don't have to do anything to them. Tuna and pasta. That's what else have I got from Marks and Spencers? Oh, my usual mint truffle and two of the, the cappuccino bars. You know, you've seen those so many times. You don't need to see them again. And this one, oh, these. They look jolly nice. This is from Waitrose. Christmas luxury chocolate fruit and nut selection. And these are always, these are always nice. There's milk chocolate praline pe pecans, or pecans, I don't know how you pronounce that, pecans. Dark chocolate cherries, coconut and white chocolate hazelnuts, and milk chocolate walnuts. 
so all nice tape things and though they might they're probably not that good for you they're not that bad for you either because of the nuts this nice jumper from marks and sparks marks and spencers m s sort of an aqua color that can go with my two that i got from tesco la last week or was it the week before the pink and the blue ones that i got from tesco this is similar it's jolly nice it's a nice jumper oh it's time of year i start having the christmas embellishments round on my webcam videos i must do that <laughs> trying to show you the fairy properly. Look, she's carrying a butterfly in her hand. Can we see her properly? Or is it trying to focus on the background? So pretty. You look good, Superstar. from motorbikes around here but oh yeah got my pigs in blankets it I've got some nice things nice things from Tesco Again, those chocolates are delicious. I've got the unicorn top that I wanted in my 12 to 14 years. It's so cute. Well, look at all this when I get home. I'm doing well. Look, I've got two gingerbread men in my latte at Costa because I don't have the syrup, so she gives me two gingerbread men. Aren't they cute? <laughs> That's so annoyed about that. Oh, that looks nice. The reflection. Got a, a little Tesco haul yesterday. We have got no light on at the moment. Anyway, I, but before we go into that, I got from eBay some dolly outfits, which um, I wanted because they look like schoolgirl outfits. I thought I want one for um, one of my skipper dolls, you know, Susie. But they're so big they fit male dolls, the boy dolls they fit. So I think that quite suits him actually. Because, yeah, if it was like a proper kilt, he could, I could say, well, he's Scottish. But of course he's not. He's, um, he's V from BTS, but I'm not going to call him that. And the top, the blouse, whatever, I had to cut that there to make enough space to make it like a proper shirt to put on because you couldn't get it over. I couldn't even get it over the skipper doll's hands. And they're smaller, so I certainly couldn't get it over his. But yeah, this is far too... Look how, this is really big. It's far too big. See, this is like a proper shirt that fits a boy doll. And uh, the, the other one, the short sleeve tops are okay, but for some reason the long sleeve, I thought it was going to be just a regular size, but it's far, it'd be tough, far too big for... Um, it's too big for a... Uh, skipper and i tried it on a regular size barbie and it's too big for them too but it does it fits him okay so but i'm gonna still gonna put it on susie sometimes because uh anyhow i was so pleased i got from tesco well, three magazines oh, sure, let me take the bag out oh, i've got another one of the uh I'll be mean, looking at all this with the light on in a minute because it's too, uh, yeah, it's too dark in here. I've got batteries, I've got more cat here. Um, 
I wanted to show you um, this in the daylight because I was so pleased I got this in the size I wanted. I have showed it with the camera, but isn't that pretty? Well, look at it. I'll put the light on. Hang on. And it's cold in here today. Right. I've got this. Oh, from Tesco. F and F Kids. That's nice. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. They're nice and bendy. They fit fine. This is a, a nice necklace. Also from F and F Kids. Pretty. And uh, one of these, because these are also for F and F Kids. I can't find my one. I've got some. Uh, and it's nice and bendy. I like these. Then. Cat ears. And. Yeah, this top. That's so pretty. What does this say? Be yourself. This was in the Black Friday thing, but um, I thought that was so lovely. And it's in my size, oh, 13 to 14 years. So pretty. I don't, I'm not so keen on the frill around the top. I think that's a bit silly. I could have done without that. But nevertheless, it's nice. Look how they are, we? FNF kids. Eight pound. See, it says there, look, the 13 to 14 years, but that's so pretty, and it, it fits. So that's so nice. So, yeah, but I will uh, leave him to have the final word today. <laughs> I don't, I can't think of a name for him. I've thought of Zio Zio, and I, I thought... No, Vio Vio, Vio Vio, and I thought, no, 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 I don't, it's stupid names that, so I, I don't know, Vivian perhaps, Vivian, or uh, Oliver, no, I've got a little dog called Oliver, it's still, uh, one of the Petunia dolls got a dog called Oliver, but I suppose he could be called Oliver as well, and he could be Tarnia's dog. <laughs> yeah, well, let's say about that little exploit, the Beppa, that was in, um, a video that's up on my other channel, and no, it's not made for kids. YouTube keep fragging my videos is made for kids. It's so annoying. Oh, oh. So there's the, uh, I don't know why I wanted that hanger. Anyhow, I got one of these from Tesco as well. So that's what I couldn't remember. When I was saying the other week about all oh, impulse sprays, I said everyone's going into the see-through ones, copying that. I meant copying this lot. So this is candy floss. That smells nice. Oh, you can't see the picture on the back. Oh, well, never mind. I'm going to have one of my mint. Thornton's mint. They're still the same inside, but uh. Oh, I'm going to have one of these coins for now. These are my favourites, and there's only three of them. They used to give you more than that. Oh, well. Everything changes for the worst. It never changes for the better, it seems to me. It's always for the worst. I'll have some of these at some point. Mm -mm. I was awake all night listening to... Well, not listening to, but having to hear the noisy neighbours joined on to me. They're vile. Truffles and liquid centre liqueurs based on five stunning cocktails created by one of... Heston's mixologists made exclusively for Waitrose by third generation Swiss chocolatiers using traditional methods and their own very special recipe chocolate. So we start with espresso martini, smooth and sophisticated Heston cherry bakewell. Vodka blended with coffee and dark chocolate in a mild chocolate shell. And that's the top one there. Yep. And then, sorry I'm eating again, I shouldn't have. Mm. French 79, 
a zesty little number. Lime cello, full of the flavour of Mediterranean lemons, with Heston sherbet gin in a dark chocolate baton, then sherbet gin, the perfect gin cocktail, Heston sherbet gin, elderflower syrup, and citrus blended with white chocolate in a milk chocolate shell. Then old fashioned, a new twist on traditional, a new no, a new twist on tradition because old fashioned's a cocktail, isn't it? I do know that one. Mmm, Taliska whiskey and maple syrup blended with milk chocolate and hazelnut in a crisp, dark shell. Then Cuban rum palmetto, aromatic and delicious, aged Cuban rum. Aged Cuban rum, what am I talking about? Aged Cuban rum and a full flavoured vermouth with flavours of orange and rosemary in a dark chocolate baton. I can't even talk. Oh, there they are. I'm not going to open them down there. I've shown these and um, it's got a set of tape on the front. Oh dear, perhaps I, perhaps I could though. Hang on. Utilise my nail. Let's see what we can do here. I just wanted to show you how pretty they are or aren't. Let's see inside. Which one's this? That's the front, the, the first one I read. I'll have to try this now. Batons. I mean, that's the baton there, and uh, you can see these. That's so sweet, that's so cute. I like all these pictures Heston puts on. That's nice. I like these old pictures. I realised it wasn't on the macro setting, and it should have been. That's ridiculous, isn't it? For those who like to read things. It probably won't be. I don't know if anyone's going to pause it to read this, but just in case anyone wanted to. Yeah, I should have had it on the macro setting. Normally, I've got it on the macro setting. Don't realise, and it shouldn't be, because with this camera, you put it on the macro setting on the side, and then it stays like it. With my old silver camera, it does it each time, and then, um, yeah, that's so cute. Anyhow, i got some more. You know, I love these lemon... Um, what are they? Delicious snowball and two smooth Swiss chocolate lemon truffles. Yeah, this video is definitely not made for kids. Snowball, they're nice. I got two packs of battery special offer from Tesco yesterday. Here's a um, time to show you that. There it is. So, candy floss. I like these. And the unicorn, that's so pretty. It's got little sp bit sparkle all over it. They had loads in, all different sizes. I thought there was glitter on it, but it's um, fallen on it, but it's just sparkle all over it. It looks really pretty. Can you see little bits of sparkle there? Because there is. So pretty. Don't have to wear that just for Christmas either. It's magical, it says. It's lovely. That's what I like to do. Yeah, you're gonna nice and crisp. They were all wet outside of my house, but I like you really love doing this. <laughs> oh, there's some more. Hey.
wooden toy master. It's lying on the floor. And I got in there. In. We've got Catoni Aster. Mm. Open sesame. Maybe the devil rides out, isn't it? I recognise it. Got a gingerbread man for just a long time. Huh. So cute. Just one. He was on the floor, lying in on the floor when I went into Toy Master. So I thought I was going to put him back, couldn't find where he went and I thought I'm having him. 